there friends welcome back to your favorite channel where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world may i quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories also share these new stories with your friends family relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed thank you so much guys i appreciate your support the governor of River State, Governor Nyesom Wike, has said that the major cardinal governance or the major cardinal of governance, I beg your pardon, is the protection of life and property. And if any government cannot protect the life of its people and property, then governance is zero. He proceeded to say I will fight against injustice in the country and I will continue in my life to fight injustice because nobody is a third class citizen in this country. He called on all Nigerians to come together and see what can be done to correct the imbalance that we have today in our economy and security. He stated, he stated this during the commissioning of road projects constructed by the governor of Benue State, Governor Autumn, in Makodi and Guma local government areas of Benue State on Tuesday. Governor Wike also praised Benue State Governor Autumn for standing firmly to defend his people against terrorists' headmen. The River State Governor used the occasion to clear the air on a rumor that Governor Autumn was defecting from the People's Democratic Party to the APC. He said the Governor is still with them in the PDP. He also donated 200 million Naira to support the internally displaced persons in the state. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were, as it is, concerning uh, Governor Yesom Wike, who has promised and uh, insists that he will continue to fight injustice in the country, saying that nobody is a third-class citizen in the country. Truly, nobody is a third-class citizen in this country. As far as you are a citizen of Nigeria, you remain a citizen and should enjoy the benefits and the rights of every citizen in the country. Nobody is a third class citizen. It is sad and unfortunate that the events that have happened in the nation over time has painted a picture that makes or some people to feel that they are third class citizens, especially with the way and manner at which the incumbent president, Muhammad Buhari, has actually handled some of the affairs of the nation. Like the uh, appointments he has made, which a lot has seen, a lot of people have seen as a, you know, imbalanced appointments, nepotistic in nature, you know, uh, tribal in nature, and, uh, uh, you know, dividing. So it has also characterized the feelings that the Southeast people have, where they feel that they have been marginalized, that uh, they are being uh, short-lived, they are being taken advantage of by this uh, administration. Despite the outcry that has followed this appointment and uh, this act of uh, nepotism, this act of uh, uh, tribalism, this act of, uh, you know, religious imbalance appointment by the administration of this APC, the president himself has remained unmoved and has not even taken steps to actually correct the imbalance or taken steps to address these issues, which to a very large extent portrays or shows that he is intentionally, you know, uh, making the steps or taking the steps and making the appointments that he has made. 
that alone is enough to make the people of the southeast to feel uh, marginalized and uh, uh, not wanted or supported by the administration by this nation so however it is what it is so when you look at all these issues situations and more you definitely will see that there is a lot of injustice that is being meted out to the people in the country or in this nation take for instance the statement of the president where he said that some 95 percent and uh, 7% or 5%. That statement, you know, continues to ring bell in the ears and the minds of the Southeast people as the president supporting the marginalized uh, and uh, uh, segregated uh, agenda of the perceived presidency or the Northern region, which should not be. And the president of a country is one who should carry everybody along, regardless of tribe, re religion, and status wherever you come from, he ought to carry everybody along. The federal character principle he has negated and has uh, uh, fallen short of the principle of the federal character in his appointment into his cabinet. And it is only sad and unfortunate that despite the reactions of a lot of people from different regions to these uh, issues, the president has refused to uh, listen to the cries, listen to the plights, listen to the reactions, listen to the feedback, listen to the complaints of the people from various regions on this particular issue as it were. However, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story and how do you feel about this? It is sad and unfortunate. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But however, do you think that... The president is doing the right thing. Well, based on the fact that he's the president and he has the powers to make appointments and nobody questions him. That is the reason why he is having his way. Well, let's come to the matter of injustice as stated by Governor Yesom Wiki on his own part. The incidences that have happened in the River State to a very large extent, you know, are uh, does not really, really explain or portray the fact that he is fighting injustice, as it were. Because some of the decisions he has taken are seen and viewed as injustice to a particular sect of people. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but that is the notion some people have. And the recent one that comes to mind is the hashtag Ojibo massacre that happened in River State, whereby the IPOP members in the state were further proscribed or reproscribed by the governor in the state. And the activities of the IPOP, you know, were halted and uh, uh, discontinued as it were. And he went as far as stating that no activity of the IPOP will be tolerated in the state. These are people of the South East. These are people of Igbo extraction. These are people who actually are Nigerians and also carrying out businesses in the states. So all these and some of those decisions to a very large extent, you know, negates the claims of fighting injustice as it were. We all know that some decisions may definitely not be easy for him to take as the governor of a state and he is torn in between satisfying the people and also ensuring that he carries out his duties as the governor of a state and also satisfy the people who are the indigents of the states. But as it were, you know, there are people who feel that he has not done enough or he is not doing enough to actually balance the equation. But however, it remains to be seen. You know, if uh, this is truly fighting injustice or not. But it is what it is. We keep our fingers crossed and see how things unfold on this particular issue as it were. Governor Yusom Wike is a very outspoken person and uh, who goes out to express himself without any fear of favor. But it is what it is. I leave you guys to actually uh, uh, express your opinion on what he has said that he will continue to fight injustice and uh, 
and that nobody is a third class citizen in the country. What are your thoughts, guys? Please drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.